What's going on guys? Welcome back to the 13th episode of Hartford to the Premier League and we're in the second season. Uh, if you missed last episode then go check it out because there's going to be spoilers in a couple of seconds. We got promoted. Um, we are now in the Southern Division 1C um, and yeah it was it was quite a good episode uh, yesterday, no Wednesday it was put up and uh, we we just clinched it. It was um we needed a result from another team and they just got it in the ninety third minute. So we got promoted and uh these are our fixtures. So start with the friendlies. The few there's a few friendlies which you can tell I arranged and a few that were already arranged. And uh the ones that I arranged were to get some sort of finance at the start because we we're uh minus a hundred K I think in debt. Or 100k in debt, so um, we played North Greenford and won 2 0. Um, we beat Braintree 1 0, beat Haybridge 1 0, lost to Kempston, Kempstown, Kempston Town, and Bedford College 4 0, lost to Walsall under 21s 3 1, Bolton 6 1, um, but that gave us quite a lot of revenue. I think that was about 70k from that match. Um, lost to Sittingbourne, Wivenhoe, Chesham Reserves, beat Billericay, um, lost to Whitstable, and I don't. Want, and the final friendly, we lost two 0 So I don't want to show you the uh, the games in the league yet because I want to show you something new that we haven't done before on this save, and that is some nice transfers. So as you can see, um, yeah. We got rid of one person last season, that's because he left, but now he is without a club. Um, he was released straight away. Went to Gillingham Town, played 20 games, and then next and then moved into the reserves and then didn't hasn't played at all this league. Or yeah, this league and then got released. So um not too bad. So first of all we signed John Edwards on a free transfer. Obviously they're all gonna be free transfers, but he's a centre midfield, twenty nine years old, ten passing 18 technique, 16 work rate, 14 teamwork, 11 off the ball, and 13 determination, as well as 9 bravery, 12 natural fitness, and 13 stamina. So those are his key attributes which made me want to sign him. As you can see, he's played 5 games so far, an average rating of 7, which isn't too bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, he's worth 1.1k now, and we got him on a part-time contract of... £55 a week. Um, this is something that we've done as we've been promoted. We didn't have any part-time contracts before, but we got given a wage budget of 1.8k, which has been watched with, yeah, which was boosted from £200. So massive difference there. So we signed a lot of the key players on part-time contracts. As well as John Edwards, we got Jack Mullen, also on a free transfer, who is another centre midfield. 9 passing, 11 leadership, 11 team work, 13 work rate, 15 jumping reach, and 11 acceleration. Also some good determination stats, as well as aggression. His pace and natural fitness aren't too bad either. So he's only played one match at the moment, but he's worth 1.4k and will sign on £100 per week. Might seem like quite a lot, but he's quite a decent player. He's only 20 years old, obviously, so he'll develop a bit. Um... We didn't mean to, but weirdly this season, all of our players, like every single one of our players is getting contract offers from other clubs. And while a lot of them stay, a lot of them have been leaving. And they like they want a non-contract um, contract, which doesn't really make any sense. But basically, you don't have to sign a contract, you just get paid per appearance. But I actually prefer giving part-time contracts because then they can't just leave straight away. Um Unfortunately, Marlon Weaver was one of the people to leave with 10 corners, 10 creativity, 14 flair. Excellent left side of midfield for us. Um, last season, he played He played one game in the league for us this season. Last season, he actually didn't play that much. Um, but we played him more towards the end of the season. He's got average rating of nearly 7, which is really good. Um, especially if you watch any of the episodes last um well, last season, I guess. Um, George Russell left, who was a youngster. 
not really much to him, flair and teamwork. He only has one creativity as a left-sided midfielder, five crossing as a winger as well, so that's not great. We only played him two times as a sub, um, and he moved to Southwick. Nicky Blackmore also left, which I think he played quite a lot, so I wasn't really happy about. 13 aggression, uh, very crap stats, actually. Apart from his physicals, which are actually quite decent, um, he did play 34 times though, but his average rating was not very good at all. So that's why we got two new midfielders because another key midfielder left, Alex Kilburn. So with 12 passing, 10 determination, 10 leadership, 12 teamwork, 13 work rate, and 11 aggression, also with fairly good stamina and natural fitness and creativity for a centre midfield. Um, he played 38 times last season. But unfortunately, he wanted to leave. Um, could always try and sign him on an on approach to sign, um, but don't really want to. As you can see, our wage total is £938 per week, and the wage budget is £1,500. Um, if we have a look, we also signed a new member of staff, and that was Steve Walsh. Um, Really, really good stats, I thought. Um, 11 attacking, 11 defending, 12 technical, 11 working with youngsters. Those three are also all 10s. That adaptability as well. Determination, 14, and level of discipline, 11. The only thing he's not good at is motivation, tactical knowledge, which we don't need, physiotherapy, goalkeepers, and fitness. Um, so if you see our stuff, and how do you say it again? Responsibilities? No. I can't remember how to see it now. Oh, why not? Go to senior squad and training and individual coaches. So, as you can see, oh, we haven't actually changed it. Um, ask assistant. There you go. So, the training has gone up in everything that Steve Walsh is doing. He's a much better trainer than Dave West, our assistant manager. Better ball control, defending, attacking. And goalkeeping, yeah, goalkeeping, fairly the same. Dave West has only got one goalkeeping, whereas Walsh has got two, so obviously he's better. But look at the stats compared: one three five one five two two, and two eleven eleven four ten twelve ten. So that is excellent. Very happy with that. I mean, it's even better just doing that. I know there's a lot of workload. But I don't want to let I don't want aerobics to go down now. If I get rid of that, does anything go down? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm keeping it that. So tactics has gone up there for one. So we're gonna leave it like that. Um, is there anything else I want to show you? No, there isn't. Okay, we'll go back to the fixtures. First game, we won five nil at home to AFC Hayes. Not sure how this happened. Um, I thought we were going to struggle. The two players we brought in are obviously decent. So, yeah, Scott Asavir J getting a goal. David Billimore, Simon Trebs, um, who was a youngster, which I haven't shown you. He's a youngster, but he's got 15 determination, 12 leadership, 13 work rate, and 13 aggression. Obviously, it's not always about the technicals, especially this low down. He's 16 years old. And 6-6 uh, six, six composure finishing is not great. But his determination is so great that he's got 2-2 two two so far. He's been doing quite well. Um, Dis. We played Dis and we beat them 4-2 away. Bangura getting a hat-trick. Obviously, Bangura is still here. Um, he hasn't played as much as I normally play him. Three times there. And four goals. So that's quite decent. So if we go down, we played Marlow and we beat them 2-0 at home. Excellent start so far in the Southern Division. Um, Adam Griffiths and Bern Gura getting the goals there. Then we beat Slough 1-0. We scored the goal. James Roach, our young centre-back, getting the goal. And then uh, not much really happened. We went extremely defensive and uh, we just nicked the 1-0 win. Then we went to Aylesbury and we drew 0-0. Um, 
that was our second away match. First one, obviously, being the 4 2 victory at this. And the last match that we've played was the FA Cup game preliminary round against Consent, which we have to play today. The uh, the uh, home fixture because obviously I drew and it's replay. Um, Jim Goodman getting a goal there, and I think the other one was an own goal. Otherwise, it would have shown up. Um, so yeah, the only player we have Scott Booth out, broken his finger. Um, which is really unfortunate. He's been out for two months. So he's only got six weeks left now. So he's been out for the, all all of the season after the first four games. Um, so it's not really, not really great. If we go straight into this next match, though. So we're playing um, Consent in the FA Cup. Simon Trebs is starting up front. But I don't like his fitness level, so he's coming off. We've had a few injuries, it's not been perfect start to the season. Jack Mullen is knackered. So Bullimore will come on who has played very well so far. Um Joe Vernon can come on the bench and Barry Bent can replace Kevin Williams, who is also a youngster. Quite a few youngsters coming through. Um so we still have Adam Griffiths who's been playing well. Jim Goodman obviously will replace him with Steve Bird, and I reckon that's it. As you can see, a lot of our players are now starting to be worth something. 3.8k for all our defenders there. That's actually weird. All of our defenders are worth 3.8k. Um, John Edwards worth 1.1. I might sign David Bullimore at some point very soon. Um, and Adam Griffiths, our most expensive player, worth 4.5k. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, sorry, we had a lot of technical difficulties. This is actually the third time of me trying to film it. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, the consent game has a different um score. It's still the same outcome because I, the game crashed and the last save point was just before the consent match. So uh, I had to do that again, but it's no biggie. Did it till I got a draw again, and um. Yeah, so we're about to play the Consent at Home match. Um, this is the third time I've tried to do this. I need to kind of fix my computer because there's quite a lot going wrong with it for some reason. Um, I've actually now had to open Football Manager in windowed mode because it keeps on screwing up. So we'll go to the Home tactic. Williams needs to be replaced with... Mm, yeah, we'll go for Bangura. Um... Goodman is going to be replaced by Steve Bird. And Bullimore will replace Mullen. David Lavelle Moore to replace Trebs. Bring on Whittingham. Um, Joe Vernon. Yeah, Joe Vernon instead of Jack Mullen. And 94. Yeah. Left back. Um, 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 um. It's just awkward trying to put them in order. Right, there we go. That's decent, that's fairly decent. Um so yeah. Let's go straight into the match for the third time. I haven't actually played this match at all. It's uh crashed before I've even got this far. So luckily it's actually doing quite well. We are favourites to win this match and I will ask T Steve Walsh to do the opposition instructions. Um yeah, we'll encourage them. I'll go down to calm and say, um, blah, blah, blah. let's give the fans something to cheer about. One person looks stressed, one person gain confidence. Why would you get stressed when it's saying give the fans something to cheer about? I don't know, but whatever. So it's our home tactic again. Very, uh, very con uh, controlling. We get a lot of possession. And I really want to get through to the next round. I mean, I think last series season, um, we did nothing in this in the FA Cup. Um, and I'm speaking maybe a bit too soon. As Dixon takes the lead for consent, but last series I don't even think we beat the first or got into the past the preliminary round. You can tell me if I'm wrong, guys. But I just I kind of want a small cup run, just just a small one. I mean. We're doing rubbish so far, <laughs> but okay. So we go into the half one nil down. Um, we'll go aggressive and just say I expect to see much more. Most of them are motivated, so that should be okay. 
come on. Thank you, Thorpe. Obviously, Thorpe's in goal instead of Booth because he's injured, which is quite disappointing as Thorpe isn't as good as Booth at all, and it's quite noticeable. Um, normally, when you replace a player, apart from maybe Bangura with someone else, it's not very noticeable when they're not in the team. Lavelle Moore, you've got to score. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. He has, like, 10 finishing, I swear, or, like, 10 composure or something like that. How did he not score that? All right. We're doing well, though. Edwards plays it to Bird, who whips in the ball to Bangura. 1-0. Hartford Town. Score a goal. Get back right into the game. With Bangura the hat-trick getting the goal. Um, we'll make a few subs. Who is playing badly? So we've got 6.2 Andy Musto. So we'll bring on James Wright for his first sub-appearance of the season. Asapir J.A. is not playing well. So we will bring on Killip. And, oh sorry, he's not playing. He's not. Um, doesn't have the best fitness. And I reckon we're going to go straight back in. Come on, boys. Dixon is through on goal, but Thorpe collects the ball up. Thank you very much. What's he going to do with it, though? Plays it straight to Hal, who runs down the right channel. It's a good play. Steve Bird back to Hal. Whips the ball towards Bangura. What's he going to do with it? Whips the ball in Griffiths. Slots it in 2-1 to Harper. They've taken the lead. Adam Griffiths. So we've gone defensive there. Um, just trying to see out the rest of the game, to be honest. Uh, do not want to uh, lose this lead at this point. And as I say that, Bangura gets the goal. Harper go 3-1 up. Nice. Very nice. Come on, ref. Blow the full whistle. There you go. Manager's team talk clearly worked a treat. Well, clearly it did. Well, I just realised we are 1-0 down at half-time. And we have got three goals in the second half. What a performance. Almost as good. As Holland's performance against Spain. If any of you guys just saw that match. What a match. Absolutely ridiculous. Such a good second half performance. Throughout the World Cup. I will be doing um, updates on each of the games. Uh, skull updates. And full time half time scores. So yeah. Go on my Twitter. It will be linked in the description. If you want that. Um, I know a lot of people do it. But. Why not? Sometimes I might give some sort of funny comment, you know, do a little bit more than just saying the score. But if you like that, then please do follow me. Um, that's going to be the end of the episode. We got 5.6k for winning in the FA Cup preliminary round. Um, that is really nice for our finances. If you see, um, we have made a loss of 31k so far this season. Uh, not doing too badly so that's going to be it for this episode thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy please drop it a like and uh next episode will be in late november so thanks for watching goodbye